Hello world, Wave Time here, bringing to you another episode of EE e. Power. Finally, I think I heard some of you guys say. Yeah, I've been working on some super project episodes. As you see, I have my mobile quarry Mach 1 here. My Nexus system is under the ground this base, and I got my mobile quarry Mach 2. Now, I had to re-outfit it with two extra layers to get a lot more solar panels here because I found that it tended to cut out in power. So with this amount of solar panels, it can go 24-7 got the kill switch and programs and whatnot ready to go but what we're going to do is find a place for this to work so we're going to need a diamond mine so what we're going to need to do to do that is go back to our tie race age tie race age the overworld land called tie race through our crossroads to get our divining rod Assuming it's not here. It's not here, so let's go back. And it's one of these books. Here. Okay. Tyrace. The book should be here somewhere. I might as well get a bit more sugar. Did it deconstruct a book? I'm not sure. Oh well. Got enough sugar cane for now to make another book if need be. Yeah, I don't like that hole there. And I guess basalt or bust today. Not here. Not here. Here? 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 No? No? No. Eh. I guess I don't have my linking book with me. Oh, I guess I don't have my divining rod with me anywhere near here, so I'm going to have to create another one. So, crossroads, and see where all of our items are. I guess they're not going to be there. So, without uh, further stalling... Oh, gosh, it looks like I went in my wrong area. <sighs> I didn't think I'd have to use one of these books already. Yes, I have a bunch of safety books, just in case, to go to my Nexus. Which I should load up with books, since I did spend all that diamonds and junk to get there, but... What have you. Okay going to need to get this and as you see I did upgrade my solar flower design to get Mach 2 relays and Mach 1 collectors so I am gaining quite a bit of energy from that now I don't think I have any wood so I'll need to get that also actually I have wood what are you talking about way you always have that Okay, I think this conversation is getting a little creepy. Need only eight of you. And I only need eight of you. Well, this is going to be fun. Deconstruct. So while this is painfully going through, I guess what I should do is, oops, prep myself and make the divining rod over here, over here more like, divining rod and I'll only need one stick. Uno. Dos. Tre. And work. Work. And 
and I think I'll have enough energy and food and everything so we can quickly go to bed and search the countryside for a good spot for diamonds. If we find diamonds, that means we can start digging there with the uh, the quarry. Though I think we have to go onto the ground to do that. Up, oh, we got tungsten there, though that we're not looking for tungsten. So people are probably asking, Way, why are you finding a diamond mine? No way, why would you do that? Well, it's obvious. If I get a diamond mine, I can dig non-stop and the quarry will actually be veritable. As you see, my original quarry, all it found was like a diamond, an iron mine down here. And iron is not that high in stuff. So if we find a diamond mine... Which I think there was a diamond mine over there, though I did rip it of quite a few diamonds. Wait, there was also a diamond mine way near my spawn, also. But we can look at that. I think I found some silver there. Still nothing. And I guess I won't bore you with the details until I find diamonds. Be right back. Okay, as you see, we found gold also. And if this is the same mine that we were at before, we should also find diamonds soon. It's a bit bad lighting, I confess. So I won't worry about that and just give you the audio. Okay, we got gold. Now, if there's any diamonds nearby, we will find it. Maybe a diamond and gold ramp mine. I wouldn't mind that, honestly. Though that's not too likely in the present circumstances. Present circumstances. Huh. What so present circumstances is this about? <laughs> No, 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 okay, I think we should move our quarry to the gold mine over to that point way near the trees, tell it to go there, maybe start mining, I'll set the height to 85, then tell it to go to that position, and do some fine adjustments when we get there. 85, raise 2, and I want you to go to here. Okay, you'll start, and I think rest would be a very good idea. So hopefully that this won't be my last EE Power episode for a while. I will be going off to do work as an intern soon. So I'm not sure what to expect from that. Hopefully I will find it a good enough fit for me. Going to be working at my university there. So it should be very fun, hopefully. I won't die or anything like that because that could really ruin my health. I think cutting down these trees would be a very good idea. 35 by 24. 
it looks like. Or 24 by 35 if we go by its computer language. Hmm, nice and cozy. I can even look out at the world. Though not much. Only two windows to see from. And not a very good, uh, not much leg room in that. Huh. Meh. It's not like I need for leg room for it. Okay, we're at 82. That means we should do an height of 75, but we should do some fine adjustments beforehand. All this wood is getting to me. Actually, it looks like we got to our location that we asked it to go to. Negative 292, negative 533. That's actually good. So this is maintaining power quite nicely. Now I just have to move it 3 over to our X. So negative X, negative X, negative X. and look for any dangers. There is a tree in the way over here and I should get rid of those trees also so one moment. Now that my embarrassing time as a lumberman is over let's look for the highest point in this system. The highest point for the start is either 71 or we'll look at these points. Yeah, it looks like if we remove this, the highest point will be 73. So 75 raised 2. Lower the landing gear get rid of all this stinking water not water you know what I mean snow And it looks like the landing gear is set. All systems are go. Setting dimensions of quarry. Quarry. 24. Let's make it 23. 35. And 65 dimensions. And I think it'd be a wise decision to modify our resume program quickly. Okay, assuming that this won't blow up in my face, we can type start and it should start. Let's check the kill switch. Kill switch good. And start the quarry. Now it should get this layer done and it might be best to go back to the beginning and restart since this is a pretty much a dummy layer. This is at 72. This one is also at 71. So if we lower this once, do another sweep since it's pretty much done we should save ample amounts of time
So while that's going, we should get some of those, uh, what are they, uh, teleport tethers and place some of them down, like here, and check the map boundaries. Obviously that's going to be in it already, so we should move it over one. Nah, that won't be needed. And I think everything can be tethered in just one tether, it looks like. So if we pillar up, put the tether down, and check again. Everything can be tethered just by one tether. We can destroy this one. And that leg is atrocious. Good. Everything tethered. Now let's halt this program quickly. And go backwards. So go backwards. Oops. Lower head and start again. You know, it might be a good idea to get this out of the way, you know? Might help a bit. What with, uh, you know, death and everything. Death and everything. Can't believe I continue to say that. Uh, yeah, I say that too much, don't I? Eh. But it's truthful. I do manage to get my fair share of, uh, death and everything, so... Why not? What the? Ninja arrow. Oh, crud. Oh, phew. I thought that was going to, you know, uh, mess up my quarry for a sec. Eh, good thing not. Could probably expand this height a bit. So, interdiction looks like it's a good idea so far. Get you out and worry about the water. Now, while that's tethered, I can go away and hopefully this will keep its uh, battery power chargedness. So I'll go over here, check tether again, good area. And what the heck lag? Why aren't you untethering? Good. Then the number's now down there. There we go. Okay, as you saw before, my flower design is pretty much at its maximum level with its Mach 2s. Now we should upgrade everything in that the relays I mean to Mach 3 and as you see we probably have quite enough to do that hopefully enough to get a bit of red matter and I think we only have enough to upgrade three of them okay three red matter I should go up there, grab three of my relays after I get a bit more, uh, what is it, obsidian. Obsidian is what I'm after. And, son of gun, I got obsidian. So grab a stack and a bit of obsidian. 
throw more in there. And go up and upgrade my uh, systems slightly. Now, are there any creepers coming to bother me? There's spiders. Spiders are a nuisance also. Maybe they just want to play. Oh no. I'm hurting their feelings. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Nothing. Nothing sounds like a good idea at the moment. So we'll upgrade one at a time. One relay. Two relay. And hey, I already upgraded you. Sweet. That's awesome. Didn't know I upgraded you. Or didn't remember at least. Huh. The more you know. And this is a mock too. And three, make that four relay. Okay, apparently I now have four mock throw creeper. Got four mock three relays in there. I didn't know I already had one, but oh well, it's working out. And my quarry is still quarrying. Successfully, I think. It is going to take a while for it to pay off. But with my gem of eternal density in there, it should gather up all of that goldy goodness. And there might be a bit of iron in there. I I think I remember seeing iron. Yeah, it looks like there's copper also. Copper and a bit of tin or something. What is 64? Anyways, coal? Coal. Coal. There's, there's coal down there. So that means there's a coal mine down there. So what I think I should do is possibly make another base. Why I say that is it'd be awesome to have some sort of fleet here that will... Wait a second. I want to see something. Hope you don't mind. Could that work? Um... Plus Y. Minus Y. So this might make things a bit more interesting. <sighs> Assuming I remember the kill switch. I know, it's almost like the kill switch is too much bother now. Okay. So, maybe that teleport tether in here will keep all of the surrounding chunks loaded. So I might not even need that. Let's check. Oh, that's interesting. Never seen that effect happen before. So it's continually editing the chunks that it is loading. Come on. Though I can't seem to see the chunk boundaries anymore. So that's obviously not going to work. I wish it worked, but no. Not going to work. So we should not going to work consistently, I should say. There. OK, 
keep that there and remove you without hopefully destroying the circuitry come back here you okay so I should leave that going maybe make some more alchemical items of power and also worry about why I am initiating a lag cycle maybe that system is really lagtastic if you know what I mean as I was saying before, before I was rudely interrupted, I was thinking that having a fleet of these would be a very awesome idea. Like having 10 of them that I can dispatch to random areas from my base. And they can quarry up the land as I see fit. Though I don't think I want to add any collision system. Ah. Now, as I figure out this phantom lag, I guess this is going to have to be another goodbye and so long. Way of time. Signing off yet again because of these stupid issues. Have a wonderful day.